It's been an active afternoon for U.S. stocks as investors eye softness in economic data after the ADP employment report for March showed an increase of 189,000 in monthly private payrolls. That's below expectations of a modest rise to around 225,000. At the same time, ISM for March coming in at 51.5 the weakest level since last May, and construction spending down 0.1% in February, marking a second straight month of decline. This while growth in the U.S. manufacturing sector rose to a five-month high in March as output and employment gained. Market said its final U.S. manufacturing PMI rose to 55.7 in March from 55.1 in February. Shifting focus to the Forex market, the U.S. dollar remaining on the upside, the euro dollar 0.36% higher, 107.80. This while, the British pound to U.S. dollar pair, that's 0.02% higher, 148.30. The U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair, 0.45% lower at 119.55 yen. This while, trading central focus is on the Australian dollar, U.S. dollar pair still as it has struck against its resistance at 0.7675 and remains under pressure. So as long as 0.7665 holds as a resistance, look for further weakness to 0.7555 and 0.7510 in extension. Moving on to precious metals, the bias remains positive with gold again in focus. Gold breaking above a declining trend line. A support base has formed for gold around 1178.30, which should prevent the downside potential. Now a break above 1178.30 will expect a further advance towards 12.0650 and 1212.75. This wall silver two and a quarter percent higher at 1698 a troy ounce. And don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter at the handle Trading Central for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central from the CME Group Floor New York Mercantile Exchange, I'm James Swinney. 543.